Well, okay, let's let's get it popping. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for tuning. And if you are new to my channel, hey, hello, what's up? What's good? If you're not new and you're a returning customer, thank you for coming back. That is super duper sweet of you. I appreciate it. So for those of you who are new, I am the creator of That's Really Pretty.co where I enjoy, review, chat about all things makeup and beauty. That includes trendy items such as the palette I'll be talking about today, as well as a wide variety of products that you might not necessarily hear a lot about. But I bet you when you go to Sephora and you're standing there and you want to see a swatch of a particular lipstick, you can't find it on the internet because people are just not talking about it. So that's what I'm here for, to fill that space online especially in deeper skin tones because that's a problem but anywho so <laughs> yeah if you're new to my channel I hope you stick around give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well as consider subscribing if you have enjoyed my content in the past and just haven't clicked that button yet also turn on the notifications bell I'm gonna be posting a lot I actually do post a lot I post maybe three or four times a week on a off week <laughs> more <laughs> uh, on a good day on a good week so I'm always posting stuff notifications just let you know when things are happening as they're happening so let's go ahead and jump on in this is gonna be a weird video just gonna put that out there because I actually tried filming with this palette earlier today I'm gonna show you the palette what she looks like just after I would say one use because I tried to use a variety of colors um, for two eye looks so uh, I used some on one side and some on the other. I'm also testing out a primer, so if my face looks different on either side, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing multiple videos right now, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that's what she looks like after uh, one use. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. I accidentally got a, my black... Um, I was using a brush that had some black in it and it got into this. I'm a little grumpy about it, but it's okay. I'm gonna start off by giving you my thoughts and then filming a look for this video. When I was using the palette this morning, it's it's really powdery. I cleaned it out earlier, but like I had shadows like all up in here. It was kind of not great. The palette got dirty the first time I used it. I got powder all over my vanity. It's just, it's a really powdery dry palette, so. Of course, I'm going to run through all the, the pros and cons. I'm not going to like organize them or anything. So just take my thoughts as they come. So yes, it did get dirty. I cleaned it off. Um, it's really, really powdery. So this might not be a popular opinion. This palette is like $42. I got mine expedited shipping when the site crashed. So that added a level of stress to the experience and increased my expectation of the product overall of like... I had to go through all of that emotional just shenanigans to get something. So this is a weird palette. Um, it's very, I'm going to keep saying powdery because I'm okay with powder as long as there is the pigmentation to back it up. And I do feel like, yes, these are pigmented, but they don't blend very well on top of each other, in my opinion. That's why I'm redoing this video and redoing a look um, on camera. And, like, powder is annoying. Like, we know this. We all know this. No one wants to deal with powder. So when you're dealing with the powdery product and the pigmentation, like, doesn't allow for it to blend well with other shadows, like, it's getting everywhere. It's just, like, it's it detracts from the experience and it detra detracts from the overall quality of the palette. So, as you will see in the videos of the looks that I did earlier, these don't blend very well on top of each other. Some of them don't. Like this Roxy shade, I don't know if it's like a white base or what. Um, let me see if I can, yeah. I don't know if this is like a white base or what, but I was blending this over uh, some of these green shades and it blended down to white basically, like a beigey kind of white. Uh, which is obnoxious like no <laughs> that's not how the shadow is supposed to work so I think that these are um, similar and powdery kind of fall out to a lot of Kat Von D shadows and Kat's in the same boat like her stuff is very pigmented but it can be hard to mix colors and like blend them on top of each other it's not very easy and I'll be honest like it's not those shadows are not my favorite now, part of it could be user error, part of it could be the primers that I'm using, the brushes that I'm using, my technique might be off. I understand all of that, but the impression that I got when I was finished using this was that I felt like I was bad at makeup. Like, I emotionally felt like I was not 
even halfway okay or decent with my skill set which like no product should make you feel like that so do I think the palette is worth the money this is a weird answer but I feel like if you have been around the block once with makeup you'll get this like especially when you're filming it's weird to then I film sometimes and I want to change my opinion after I see myself which is not good and it's hard for me to fault myself because I didn't like unless I'm reviewing the footage I wouldn't have a reason to change my opinion otherwise like yeah I think the palette is worth it when I looked at photos of myself when I looked at myself on camera the shadows just didn't look great but I enjoyed most of the experience of putting it to like putting my looks together like this is an interesting palette if you think about the composition of the the palette the colors that are in here um let's get a little bit closer like I haven't seen something like this in a long time it's having trouble focusing I haven't seen something like this in a long time I haven't been excited about a palette in a long time for the sake of this video I will try to only use shadows in this palette it is doable it's not the easiest if you're thinking about transition shades um like there's no black in here just things that you typically want to incorporate if you're doing a bright look so yeah i i think it's worth it but if this is like if you're brand new to makeup and you want this to be your first palette like i would not recommend it i think this will play well with the rest of the anastasia palettes which let me get those real quick because I own um, the Modern Renaissance and the Master Mario palette. So I'm not going to do swatches of the other two, but I will show you guys like a quick comparison. So this is Modern Renaissance and then this is the Master Mario palette. So I think in general, as I show you this, I think in general, like Anastasia has nice shadows across the board for a brand, like not bad at all these shadows will look so nice together I'm gonna try and hold up three palettes because that's smart so here's all three of them <laughs> hey thumbnail time hey what's up all right so here's all three of them like these are very complimentary I'm gonna drop one or stick my whole hand <laughs> in a few of the pants so like these are these are very complimentary I'll hold I'll do this one so yeah, here's two of them. Boop. So these are these are very complimentary shadows. Um, I'll hold this up to Master Mario. I haven't tried combining these yet. I don't even know why I didn't think to do it when I had just the Master Mario and the Modern Renaissance, but they definitely play well together. I thought the marketing was smart. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I think it's on Ravina's page, probably on the brand IG site feed, excuse me, as well. So like they mentioned that the palette is called subculture because that is largely how this brand grew through instagram through these smaller accounts finally catching on and blowing up to what we know it is just that's based on the marketing that's the impression that i got so if you notice with the pr launch before then they sent this out to like really small accounts and i mean small in contrast of like super big beauty accounts you didn't see the gurus talking about it i remember i just happened to stumble across like one or two videos and i'm like who who the hell are these people like they just weren't very popular or familiar to me but they sent them out to like even some really small accounts and I think that goes back to the purpose intention and meaning behind this palette and I thought it was a really smart move for their marketing team so big ups for that I'm um, trying to think what else yeah I don't know I just had to change my opinion after I posted a few pictures on Instagram and, like looked at the footage these shadows don't look good on me like Hopefully I can, you know, maybe it was user error the first time and hopefully I can create a look now that I really like, but there's a difference between enjoying the experience of a product and how it performs and what it looks like. So I didn't feel comfortable just posting those two looks on their own without remaking it. So hopefully you guys appreciate me taking a step back and, and recognizing that, but I'm just going to do one look right now but yeah stick around check out the looks you guys have already heard all of my opinion <laughs> leading up to that <laughs> all of that's to say eyeshadow looks uh, but yeah give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy me walking through the palette all that good stuff I don't want to inundate you guys with that but the data does help me figure out what you like what you don't like comment if there's a color combo you want to see I can definitely post it on my Instagram because I do looks about twice a day there if you want to see another video where I'm doing 
like a shit ton of looks, <laughs> just to be honest, <laughs> then let me know. I'm happy to do that. But because I'm still a fairly young channel, the data isn't quite supporting what you guys like, don't like, love, don't love. I want to be a little more cautious with my time, resources, and energy until you guys tell me what you want. Tell me so I can make it. Until then, I'll just put out like one or two looks <laughs> per palette until y'all speak up. So holla at you, girl. Let's go ahead and get into this look. Do you guys want me to talk? I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to actually hear me chat. So just for the sake of this video, aka no transition shades, I'm going to use only things in this palette. I'm going to start with Dawn, this like kind of tannish. Just, hey, Powder City, look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this all over my lids, so I'm just gonna. I have spent so much time recently like looking up makeup technique videos because I get it, like I am not a makeup artist. I've been doing this for a fresh few years. Like there is a lot for me to learn about makeup. But I'm also not half bad. But if I wanna grow, like I gotta, gotta learn gotta do more stuff I'm gonna be just like super real with y'all and lay down this tape cuz yeah <laughs> because and I oh, damn I really want to do lashes but I don't know if some of you guys know the struggle with like Instagram and stuff it's a little hard to like just put on lashes for a, a, a whole smooth five seconds to take a, a picture and then rip them off like that's why I bought them though I don't wear lashes in real life I don't really do things that require lashes, even though I almost went to the doctor's office with lashes on just to wear them, but I decided against that. All right, so that is that. I learned from this morning that I need to go in with fudge a little bit more light-handedly. That's not a word, but here we are. Uh, it's this kind of brownie shade, much darker on the eye, ladies and gents, much, much darker. I have an idea so I'll tell you what was really exciting to me about this palette I had all kinds of ideas as I was swatching and looking at it and it's just the execution that is throwing me off so we'll see I have an idea in mind but we'll see if I execute it I'm hoping so I live in an old building and like everything is connected so if something stops working or sucks up power it takes power from something else so like that's why my lights dim on and off but y'all didn't ask I'm just sharing see I wish I could play like Cardi B or Mike Lowry I'm obsessed with them they will never know this but the last thousand views from all of your videos across YouTube from your girl from your girl it's like wickedly embarrassing because I think they're all younger than me they're not like little boys or anything because that's creepy but they are younger than me so it's like it but I probably watched like 900 like I had 900 worth of views before I saw an interview they're like oh we're 21 and I'm like oh shit y'all are young men <laughs> great I feel weird and old and creepy even though I'm only 24 it could work is what I tell myself it could work okay it's gonna be real chatty I'm sorry y'all I just redesigned my blog and it looks pretty stinking awesome so if you guys ever get bored or you know have a few seconds to go check that out pretty good stuff okay I think I've blended that and talked to y'all enough okay so I want to do like a mossy green look so I'm gonna go in with destiny this little mama right here I take this pointed brow brush and I just kind of start packing down hopefully you guys can see that that's the other thing when I film like having the extra light really like <sighs> it's gonna sound weird like having the extra light can make things look awesome on camera and then I go like IRL like outside it's just like oh wait there's no pigment but like on camera it looks amazing so that's one of the things I realized about this palette was like out in the street these look real different than they do on camera which it makes me want to go back and change my opinion about a shadow that's what I'll say all right I'm gonna do something weird okay we're gonna go in with we're gonna start with um, untamed this kind of like darker green right here instead of doing it kind of light in the inner tear area I'm gonna make it dark you guys see what I'm putting down mmm all right I'm in a good mood because I decided to refilm this and not put trash content out on the internet I'm in a good mood 
so because I like didn't want to post my earlier video there's just something about it. I had to take a step back and be like no cannot give this to the people it's not good this is rowdy this dark brown so as you can see it is completely possible to do like full grown looks with this but it's just a little complicated but I like that this palette kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone to say like hey no you're not getting a black deal with it transition shade deal with it like I like that it's a little it's refreshing this palette is pr pretty refreshing I will say so I'm just blending this out this is with I got um what is it a MAC 219 version it's like a pointed pencil brush this is the BH cosmetics version I was finding that I didn't have like a small brush that I could get in with like a little bit of like blending but keeping that detail kind of intact so I'm hoping that that brush gives me that getting ready for my Instagram looks. You guys are gonna think I'm so squirrely during this video, but whatever. All I can do is be me. So I'm going back in with Destiny. I'm gonna build this up a little bit. I wanna put this gold in, but it's not the easiest to work with, I found. Like, I'm gonna close my eye. You see that? Do you see that? This is why I just, like, brownie points taken away into this palette because of just kind of that skipping now again like that is partially user error but these are so dry y'all they're so dry they just don't like blend nicely and then I'm gonna take this and just buff that all together gotta find a place to put this gold down but I'm not sure I could pop it on the center of the lid now this gold is super dry definitely got to go in with some fix plus or something because I the first time I did looks like it just crumbled down my face and it was just made me sad it's kind of like oh mm, mm, type of thing so let's this is just some makeup forever kind of mist and fix stuff it's like a flat shader brush look at that look at them crumbles come on oh it's like accosting my face this is not very pigmented and I don't want to stick my finger in it either shade this is not working oh there we go it takes so much product to get so little on your eye I'm gonna smoke this brown out just to kind of save face on this a little bit. You could definitely stick your pinky in there and just go to town, but I'm trying to not do that. But also get this to not look ridiculous. Which is not going well. You guys can see I'm trying, right? You can see that, you can tell. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna cover part of this up with this brown. I'm going back in with Rowdy and just kind of smoking this out a little bit more. So it's kind of like a weird halo eye, basically is what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Yikes, sorry. But, you know, makeup is whatever you make it. So if I put this look together and I decide I like it, then that's what's happening I also love doing like my crease area super dark I don't know where I get that from but I just really enjoy it so I'm gonna just sit here and finish this all right let me be quiet and do this but all right let me just get on in here Bring them. I'm gonna bring Rowdy out just a little to kind of smoke that out. Alrighty, so that diffuse. Maybe I should put on lashes. Okay, I don't know. I don't want to embarrass myself. Like, I'll put on lashes and I'm gonna end up messing the look up. And we're not gonna do lashes. Y'all forgive me. It's because I'm not gonna do this other eye. Yeah, I'll do another look on this eye instead. Yep, 
There goes the light. She's changing. All right. This is look one. I'm going to go over the bottom lash line using that same brush I used with Rowdy with Fudge. Okay. shit <laughs> that looks so much better than this morning like I wonder what happened I guess a little bit of self-reflection never hurt nobody so I haven't I don't think I did anything like super different though I don't know this is looking a lot better I usually never do my bottom lash line like any sort of color any sort of mascara but I've been really into it recently okay so I'm gonna finish up this look real quick. I think when you look at me head on, I'm missing some like color right there. So I'm gonna go in ever so lightly with fudge. Yeah, it's fudge at the top. And then ever so lightly with Dawn, a kind of light color. Just spend some time blending that down. Cause in contrast, it's super dark. And my eyebrows are looking a little effed up. I try not to swear on my channel, but I'm also a very sweary person in real life. So that adds to the struggle of not having a potty mouth. But, but yeah, that's look number one. Let's pop that off. Oh no, is that Fallout? <laughs> this palette, y'all. I don't know if that's Fallout. I'm not gonna blame anyone just yet <laughs> basically so again I'm using this Urban Decay primer potion thing I think I know what look I'm gonna do already that's exciting for me again with the scotch tape pro pro tip make sure if you're using like regular tape they make face tape though but that's like six bucks at Sephora you don't have the coins for that put it on the back of your hand first and then lay it down so it just the adhesive is not ripping off, you know, more of your eye than it needs to. Alrighty, so uh, this is gonna look weird. I don't think this is gonna look good, but I'm gonna go with Mercury for the sake of the video and not having used it yet. I'm gonna lay this down as my base shade. It's gray. Just kind of lay this down all over. I use a color switch. I feel like I kind of have to because that has been all up in those browns. Going in with Mercury. I say, if you guys can't see, let me know, but that's not how YouTube works. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to lay this down and see. Putting it all over, albeit sloppily. Okay. All right, that's not horrible. It's not so ashy that I can't deal with it. Alrighty, and then next Amundo, I'm going to put this pink Roxy shade all over the lid just to see just to know all right so that's this peachy little lady oh you guys can see that that blends down to white put this all over the lid this is super pigmented when you're not like blending it out like sweeping motions it really is a gorgeous shade one shade I would like to see that I think Kat did really well in her pastel goth is like a light icy blue shade. Because that's just the vibe that I get. It might be just with this particular shadow color. That's a hundo percent the vibe that I get. Alright, so that's that. Two very different looks. But we're going to go with All Star next. This kind of like burgundy, violety shade. I'm going to do a similar halo eye. And just do like a different pop of color. Just like pursing my lips. <laughs> all right, all right, Ansley. Focus. See that just like powder? Like what? Why does it travel so much? All right, I'm just gonna buff this out with that brush. Shit. Just got the back of that and the gold. That, okay, we're gonna run this along the lower lash line because that's really pretty. 
that's gorgeous. This palette is slowly redeeming itself in some ways. I'm just kind of mixing this and building it to get it where I want. That's pretty! Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I wish I was going to stop right here, but I'm going to make this look a little weird. Not going to lie. Y'all, I keep, like, I'm not dropping the brushes on my table, but when they hit the table, just, like, a puff of dust, makeup powder dust, drops to the table immediately. I'm going to, for sake of video, go in with Edge on top of Mercury, but just, like, the littlest bit the idiotest bit to kind of blend that out a little bit like non-existent levels of pigment are on my brush and I really should be starting from the outside so let's do that it's like non-existent but it's so pretty just trying to soften that gray a little bit you know you feel me all right okay I'll live with that Oh, that's fine. That can come home with me. Okay, so we're going to go in with the shade Electric. It's like this kind of limey green. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a weird, almost not pigmented shade. Again, I'm going to go ahead and spray this brush because we're not playing games. We already know what's up. There's just no, I'm not even going to pretend that like it's going to look good without the Fix Plus. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's dip into Electric. I haven't used this shade yet. I don't think I used it this morning. So you guys can see. So light. So non-existent. I'm going to clean off this is this the BH? Yeah, that pointed brow-esque brush, similar to BH. Go in with this just to try and kind of place it right where I want it. Say that little makeup prayer and hope this works out because this is just like not, it's barely there. Oh, I just got makeup all on my clothes from the powder dust. Woo all right, whatever. I'm working with you, electric. You were giving me little back though. If you like push this into your eye, it works a little bit better. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, now we're gonna salvage this. I got a plan. We're gonna salvage this by going back in with All Star and just kind of forcing that purple to kind of pop a little bit more. You see what I'm doing? I'm gonna go in with Rowdy because I would like to darken that up a little bit get more of like a gradient going on we're gonna blend don't worry we're gonna blend all right we're gonna be super extra I'm gonna go in with this cube shade it is white in the pan but has a strong rose gold shift once applied which is kind of neat I'll try and show it to you guys so you can kind of see it I accidentally got some black in it earlier don't ask why or how it just happened can't see. I'm gonna go in like the tear ducty area with this. Oh, you guys can't see. Hey, oh, it is kind of hard to get some pigment to show up though. Can you guys see that? The answer should be no. Ansley, we cannot see because I cannot see it either. It's barely there. Now, what you could do, which would be really pretty. Take All Star, kind of similar to how I have it here with the brown, deepen that up, put Roxy all over the lid, and then slowly work Cuban, kind of how I'm trying to do. Could give a really pretty gradient, but I don't have a third eye to try that out with. So I'm just going to blend this a little bit more. Try and get that gray and that brown to mix. All right, let me go ahead and just do eyeliner, pretend that that worked. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mascara. God damn it, it's like, hold on. Pretend like my eyebrows are together. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not. I'm the laziest eyebrow person. I know I am. I gotta clean this up though. 
Now that I'm looking at me, I'm like, ooh, wait, girl. <laughs> you might want to clean your brows up. Yikes. Okay, alrighty. These are the two very different looks I came up with. You could even go in with a little... Okay. Alright, I'm being extra. Let me blend this out a little bit. That's blended. Okay. I'm going to go in with the littlest bit of rowdy just to add a little bit of depth under this eye. You see how littlest, littlest bit? Blend. I'm not doing the concealer thing. I lied. I'm not doing that. Okay, so let me buff a little powder all over my face. I didn't do like, you know, contour and all that stuff <laughs> before I started the video but now that I'm done I'm like oh wait a minute you gotta do Instagram photos hold on girl <laughs> carve out your cheekbones real quick the people expect it okay alrighty that's as good as that's gonna get so as you can see check the insta there'll be stills of these like proper photos but that's look one that's look two. Two clearly different looks. Um, I think that this more accurately speaks to how I feel about the palette versus the other two. Yeah, I'm not going to post those because they're just... I'm okay with the looks not being good, but I just... My stomach is just like cringing at the thought of showing you guys that whole experience because I, I had to take a step back I was like no nah, I don't agree with anything I just said it is really hard to form opinions I will tell you for people that are interested in starting YouTube or you know building their channel it's really hard to have opinions that you don't waver from because my opinions only changed when I was standing in line to get free lipstick today and I was looking at the footage and I was just like "Ooh, wait <laughs> when I actually look at this like nah I don't I don't like it as much um so I'm too lazy this is already going on for 40 minutes but these are the lashes I would use if I was putting on lashes today they're the fluff and edgy lashes by velour lashes I am super new to the lash game um but these are awesome I really like these and they're silk so they don't harm animals which is good so yeah so I'm not gonna post the other two looks because I just needed to like reevaluate my opinion typically I do product reviews so I've used the products for a while I don't like to go in cold with first impressions because this happens you sometimes immediately want to change your mind after you put content out into the universe and that's really hard to do people hold you to your opinions religiously so I feel better and more comfortable and can stand behind my current thoughts on this palette. Many of the stuff, much of the stuff that I shared this morning, I should say, uh, much of the stuff that I shared comes from the looks I did this morning. And I still think they hold true. Y'all saw, it's just like powder dust everywhere. Um, I will say certain color combos do not blend well over each other. So um, any of your kind of like your super light shades and your super dark shades might struggle to lay on top of each other nicely. Had issues with the both of these, not my favorite. Um, this is a dope palette. The idea is interesting. These are two very different looks. That gold was Struggle City, but it's okay. Just for the sake of the video and not reaching for any other products, like, all right, I could do two very different looks. And you could make several more. I'm not the only person who is doing palette-only looks with this. So... Oh, that's the other thing. Um, maybe this was just me, like, user error. But this looks, like, diffused to the point where it's patchy. And you should be able to blend your eyeshadow out and give it kind of a nice, seamless look. So I don't know... If it's just the formula, what the base colors are, but it's like a weird, it's not very opaque, but it's not to the point where like nothing is there type of thing. That bothers me about these shadows. If you really sit there and uh, try to like buff them out, they don't buff out kind of nicely. 
if that makes sense. All right, now I'm gonna stop talking because this 45 minute long video is too long. I know y'all aren't gonna sit through this based on the analytics. <laughs> so let me know if you picked up this palette. Clearly I'm like at home doing nothing today, being a hermit, giving you eye looks for the YouTube, for my followers, for my for my fans. Um, if you picked it up though, let me know. Also comment your IG handle down below if you're comfortable doing that so I can look at it and show you love. Like I said, I will be like throughout forever. Now that I own this palette, I'll be using this quite frequently on my Instagram. So check out there if you want to see more looks that I just kind of create using this and other palettes. Um, as well as if there's like a certain color combo, like y'all just let me know. I'll do a look on Instagram for you just so you can see it. So take a look at all the other stuff I own too like if you want to see how this works with the balm cosmetics palette for example their super infamous palette holla at your girl happy to do it and I think that's it <laughs> if you guys really want to see the old stuff that I post that I created this morning and just made me change my entire life opinion edges credit score everything like let me know I might put it on my blog instead but my fear as a content creator is that if I put that out there in the universe, unless you sat through this whole video or certain parts of it, it might give you the wrong impression. And that is on me to control that as it comes to not forcing you to think a certain way, but I have a certain impression that I want to leave you with with my name associated with it on how the product works. So that is it. That's really pretty.co is out. I'm done. Let me edit this. Let me get this up. I will put lashes on for my Instagram pictures. So check those out because <laughs> I don't want to do it right now. It's going to take like a meal, a prayer, like a, a quick nap before I can sit here and just like pop those on because I suck at doing lashes. But anyhow, you guys take care. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening. I hate saying goodbye. So I'm like the person in the relationship that draws it out. It's really bad. But anyhow, take care. I will see you guys shortly. Bye.